Hi guys, I'm really glad to see all of you in today's video, which is gonna be a huge Mancera haul. We are gonna talk about uh, all Mancera fragrances that I have, and I have a lot of them, so let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh my god, this video is gonna be long, I can feel it right now, but I think it is gonna be a lot of fun because Mancera is one one of the most known niche brands. Uh, it uh, was developed uh, by Pierre Montal, who also owns Montal perfumes. So Montal's and Mancera's fragrances are pretty similar because, first of all, the nose behind these uh, brands is Pierre Montal, and I have a feeling that uh, the ingredients that these fragrances are created uh, out of uh, also quite identical, so even though Montal and Mancera perfumes are pretty similar, and I will talk about that in this video, there are some unique fragrances in both uh, lines. So with that being said, if you have never heard about Mancera perfumes, this video is going to be extremely helpful for you, and if you are advanced Mancera lover, then let me know which Mancera fragrances you like and I need to try. So I hope this video is gonna be entertaining and I will inform you about all Mancera perfumes that I have. And with that being said, I do not have time to ramble at all, so let's get started. And I will start with a favorite of mine, which is Roses Vanille. And guys, this is a huge love of mine. This is gonna be the first Mancera perfume that I will get in a full bottle because this is a dream for the lovers of vanilla in the first place. For rose lovers too, but uh, rose in here is not as bold and strong as vanilla is. It is surely that sweet uh, and musky, jammy, vanillic rose. And it is so addictive, like this is a true dream. This is just a really well done sweet perfume with this uh, floral charm, so it smells more feminine than unisex, and I highly recommend all the ladies out there to check out this perfume, because it's sweet, but it is so good, like, oh my god, this is a watery sweetness, because actually one of the notes in here is water, which I found really interesting, so Roses Vanille is surely a number one from Mancera brand for me personally, but Roses Greedy is pretty close to Roses Vanille in terms of how much I love it. This is actually my favorite work scent because it is very fresh and uh, even clean smelling uh, fragrance. Not necessarily rose, but um, just a really beautiful, beautiful perfume that I love to wear when I'm at work because on the one hand it is very elegant and just like uh, classy and formal, but on the other hand it is uh, pretty sexy and playful. We have so many different notes in here, pretty typical for Mancera fragrances. We have uh, peach, mandarin, uh, co cacao, 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 coconut, <laughs> sorry, not cacao, coconut, jasmine, white flowers, rose, musk, benzoin, sugar, amber, and pink pepper, but what I, I smell is some super sparkly, almost musky rose, or maybe a floral bouquet, not necessarily rose. So I absolutely adore this perfume and highly recommend once again. And another favorite of mine is Purple Flowers. Now, this perfume actually uh, set the mood for my outfit today. I was inspired by it because you can see that I'm wearing this beautiful purplish top, my nails are purple, my eyes are purple, and uh, this perfume is a true addiction. It is so good. It is uh, about flowers, about fresh flowers for sure, but I mean it is also a little bit, just a little bit patchouli and rosy, but in a, such an innocent way. Like, I 
really enjoy the combo of rose and patchouli. I find that it makes perfumes uh, smell really, really expensive. In here we also have musk and ambergris and uh, spiciness in the opening, which comes from dark pepper, nutmeg and ginger. But I can tell you that this is such a well-rounded, harmonious composition that smells so expensive, at the same time fresh and just uh, gentle but very confident. I don't know how to describe it. This smells like perfume. It does not smell like different notes combined together. It is a very, very successful fragrance, unisex, more feminine. So if you are looking just for an expensive smelling perfume, that is it. This is one of the best from Mon Montal, Mancera, I'm sorry. And um, it does not lean... Uh, any side. It is not extremely oriental, not extremely gourmand, not extremely floral. It is. It has uh, something from every genre, but it is just a full-bodied, grown-up, extremely elegant perfume. So another favorite of mine is Choco Violet, and actually this is my scent of the day. It has violet in here, which has a purple color, so, you know, purple is my inspiration for today. And this is such a cool fragrance. Oh my god, it reminds me of Chocolate Greedy by Montal. Here it is. And uh, even though they are similar, there is a bit of a difference there. And uh, this perfume is very chocolatey. This is not black dark chocolate. It is not white sweet chocolate. That is milky chocolate. That is just delicious and so creamy and juicy. At the same time, we have musk and vanilla. Vanilla in here is a very, 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 very strong. So if you love vanilla and chocolate, oh, mmm, mmm you will be obsessed. Like, guys, if you cannot eat chocolate but you want to smell it and you love how it tastes, then check out this fragrance because it will make you feel like you add chocolate. So, uh, we also have violet in here, which is so subtle, which is not that dominant at all, but it is there. Actually, chocolate dominates, but violet provides almost like a little bit of a powdery sweet moment, even though this perfume is sweet without violet. So this is like sweet chocolatey violet and uh, it has the same chocolatey scent as chocolate gray, but this one is really chocolatey and choco violet is, uh, I don't know, also very chocolatey. I didn't know where the difference is. They are very similar. So if you have uh, um, one of them, then you don't need the other one. So, with that being said, let's move on to something completely different, and it is called Wild Cherry. Now, this is another favorite of mine. I find that this perfume is so cool and unique. I have never smelled uh, anything like it, and uh, this perfume is about cherry and about orris root. The opening is intense, just right in your face, and that is uh, this... Um, I don't know, like a really, really, really delicious cherry that is not really sweet, that is not really sour. It smells fruity. It smells like a fruit, like a berry. It is delicious. And it is not a young cherry that you pick from the tree. That is cherry that was synced into the alcohol or some um, delicious jam. Maybe this is a cherry jam because it is pretty sweetish, but also really, really fruity, delicious, and ripe and tart. And then we also have a lot of heliotrope, which makes it smell like a lipstick, and that is a cherry-colored lipstick that you're putting on when you're going out to attract someone, and if you pair that cherry lipstick look with this perfume, all men are gonna be yours. I don't want to say that this is a truly feminine perfume, but I see it more on women than on a man. And then it is also very powdery, so that cherry lipstick association is pretty appropriate here. And I love powdery scents, as you know, so this is a huge favorite of mine because I also like note of cherry in the fragrances. In the base we have vanilla and musk, in the heart we have helotrope, oris root, jasmine and patchouli, and in the opening lemon, bergamot and 
cherry. So this perfume is dusty, powdery, sweet, tart, fruity, and as I've told you, for going out with your friends and you want to, to be the boldest and the cutest and the most beautiful person in your group, wild cherry. I'm telling you, people are gonna turn their heads and stop you and ask what are you wearing. So that is a great, great fragrance when you want attention and it also lasts really long. So don't overspray it, it is intense. Anyway, so let's move on to something different, something on the fresh side. It is also fruity perfume because Wild Cherry has that fruitiness in there, but this is a truly fruity scent and these fruits actually smell pretty citrusy. I would say that this is not about wildest fruits out there um, because it smells of grapefruit, of uh, lemon, maybe of uh, some other citruses of apples of peaches and that are not really wild fruits uh, this is not a super exotic smelling fragrance but it does smell summery it smells like a juicy cocktail of most different fruits and it also has quite prominent muskiness in there which smells like cedar wood which is another prominent note in here and I find that because of cedar wood and cold citruses this is a super unisex summer scent it just really makes you feel so refreshed and uh, puts you in a holiday mood and I find that this is a great great fragrance or for the time it is hot. It is even perfect for a humid climate because it lasts on the skin and does not evaporate really quickly after you applied it. And that is a great quality, especially for a summery perfume. So if you love cold smelling citrusy fruity perfumes and you love musk, check out this perfume. I actually really like that musk is dominant and noticeable because lately I have been obsessed with musky scent. So if you have some musky favorites, please, please, please let me know in the comments. I actually plan to film a video about best musky perfumes, but I need to find some really good ones. So I would really appreciate your help. And with that being said, let's talk about another favorite of mine, which is called Pink Prestigium. And this fragrance smells really fun. Uh, my mom loves it a lot and I can totally understand why I also do like it a lot. This fragrance smells fruity and very, very juicy and fresh. But when you look at the notes, you expect something deep and rich and sensual and oriental because we have oud and rose and leather and saffron in here and those notes make perfumes just so nighttime and I'm all so dramatic but this perfume smells so fruity and fresh it is such a light scent even though it lasts really long and it develops so well on the skin I cannot even tell you like it is undescribable. You need to experience it for yourself. We also have note of black currant, uh, rose, grapefruit, and jasmine in here. So maybe they add that uh, light sensation. But as I've told you, we also have really intense notes. And I like that it is not too leathery, not too medicinal because of saffron or patchouli and rose are not too dominant. And oud is actually so refined and fresh. Not that... Uh, extremely warm uh, oriental type of oud. I think that if you love leather, oud, rose, patchouli, but you want them to be fruity and perfect for summer or just warmer time of the year or daytime or everyday wear, check out this fragrance. This is a well done perfume that is round, that smells very, very elegant and it is a true pleasure to wear it and it is also very unisex. So with this perfume, you cannot go wrong. So if you have never smelled it and if you want to check out some Mancera fragrances, start with this one. So now we are moving to the vanilla spectrum of Mancera Paris fragrances. And the first one is Vanille Exclusive. So this perfume was launched last year in 2018. And this is the sweetest vanilla that I know from Mancera. It literally smells of sweets. It smells of caramel, of whipped cream, and of sugar. It smells 
very 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 vanillic so if you want that extremely sweet vanilla with uh, a youthful vibe because I can see teenagers wearing this perfume maybe they got it as a present because it is a very luxurious perfume this is not a cheap smelling vanilla but it is so sweet and I find that younger audience leans towards such sweet vanillic fragrances that's why I think that if you are young and you love vanilla and you love bold sweet perfumes this is the one for you and then if you are more grown up and want uh, that uh, reflection in your fragrance then check out black vanilla it is similar it is also very sweet but it has a little bit more elegance and uh, just harmony inside it is a very very sweet perfume that also leans towards feminine side even though i sprayed it on my stepfather today and he liked how it smells he told me that he finds this is a feminine perfume and i kind of agree i mean like uh, it is a nice fragrance but nothing spectacular it is just an average vanilla with uh, some fruity floral uh, mancera vibe so this is very typical perfume from Mancera and I'm not crazy about that one but gold incense is something pretty nice actually today I sprayed my whole wardrobe with it and uh, my whole room smells of it right now which is pleasant which is cool I really like how extreme the projection is but I need to tell you that it smells a little bit nostalgic I'm not the biggest fan of it but it is somehow nice. I find that uh, if you miss uh, perfumes from the past, I don't know how to describe that, maybe with a retro, vintage vibe, check out this perfume. It is not yet like your grandma type of fragrance, but it is not super modern. And we have so many different notes in here, such as pink pepper, mandarin, violet, rose, uh, jasmine, patchouli, benzoin, vanilla, and musk, but I do not really smell anything like that. It is a very harmonious, fresh, fragrance that has nothing incensey or smoky about it. It is just a very wearable everyday type of a perfume that is mass appealing. So with that being said, the last uh, vanilla perfume is Coco Vanille and this is Shirley Coconutty Vanilla and it has the tropical sensation. I wouldn't say that this is a groundbreaking perfume that I absolutely adore and find so cool and amazing and unique. It is too sweet for me personally and the note of coconut is very dominant in here. I like that it doesn't smell cheap, it smells good, it has ylang ylang and tiare flower for that uh, exotic feeling and also peach with musk, uh, vanilla and woods. So this is a very easygoing sweet perfume for women in my opinion. Vanilla in here is not as dominant as uh, coconut but uh, this is the second strongest note so if you love coconut you love vanilla then i think you cannot go wrong with it but if you hate those notes don't wear that perfume because it will last last and last which is a huge advantage of uh, this fragrance and actually of all Mancera perfumes so this next perfume that is called wild python or piton i don't know how to pronounce it is something that i wear when i'm feeling extremely brave or i want to feel brave because this is extremely Stream tuberose right into your face. It is very bold, it is very strong, it smells carnal, sexy, and just extreme. Like this perfume is all about tuberose, even though we have orange blossom and patchouli with uh, osmanthus and peach, musk and vanilla and jasmine in there. Tuberose dominates and does it really well. If you love tuberose, just like check out this perfume, it will last, it will project, it will make you like you're the queen, you are the boldest person and no one can um, co can compare to you. Um, so check that one if you love tuberose. If you don't like tuberose, then I don't think you will like that perfume. And next one that I want to talk about is a oud exclusive. And guys, this is a serious oud. If you love oud and you want it to be very oriental, and I'm talking very, very, very oriental, a little bit heavy, a little bit oily, a little bit smoky, and just so hot, 
then check out this fragrance. It is kind of a synthetic wood, but it is very harmonious, pleasant, but very, very, very strong. That's why I think this is a great nighttime fragrance that you don't want to go crazy with because it is very bold and you need the tiniest amount because uh, otherwise you will just uh, make all the people go crazy. And I also do not really recommend to wear it on a date because uh, the person that you are on a date with uh, might not understand it, so be careful with it. And then the last, not least, fragrance is Red Tobacco, which I associate with my boyfriend because uh, um, I had it in my car and he always sprayed it on him. And this is a great tobacco fragrance. Even though I'm not a fan of tobacco in the perfumery, this is one of the greatest tobacco perfumes. And I think because it is actually about sweet tobacco and it also has uh, an interesting fruity twist which is noticeable and then I find that it is just so aromatic and sexy more masculine than unisex but uh, once again when my boyfriend wears it I am super attracted to him and this is a sexy seductive uh, very 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 alluring cozy warm comforting scent that you want to wear when you're going out when you're outside because this is a very strong perfume or you need to apply a little bit because once again as with Oud exclusive it can be a little bit too much but this is a great sweet fruity tobacco if you love tobacco and you're looking for a new favorite, check this one out. I think you won't be disappointed because the projection, the sillage, everything is so good about it and this is a very, very high quality, expensive smelling tobacco perfume and I find that that fruitiness that um, comes from uh, the apple and the pear actually makes it kind of unique and different smelling. So with that being said, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I know it was really long, but what can we do? I hope I did a great job and was informative and uh, entertaining at the same time. And if you are a little bit overwhelmed by all the information that you got from this video, then I will share with you my personal favorites that I think are worth your attention. So number one is Shirley Roses Vanille. Then we also have Roses Grady, which is so, so good, especially for everyday work uh, situation. Then Choco Violet, amazing, delicious chocolate, wild cherry for bold going out, powdery and fruity, wild python, oh, this tuberose kills me, and then last but not least purple flowers. So with that being said, if you found this video helpful and you have never heard about Mancera perfumes, definitely check them out because they are mass appealing, they are attractive, they have so many fragrances to choose from and they have amazing pricing for this quality and if you are an advanced Mancera lover then let me know which uh, Mancera perfumes are your favorites and if you discovered your favorites in this video then hey that's great we have similar taste so you can find Mancera fragrances in niche boutiques uh, they are available around the world but I will also leave a link to their official website in my description box down below and once again this is a great perfume brand uh, for those who start uh, discovering niche fragrances, but this is not a brand for the shy souls out there because they are intense. So I hope you had fun and if you enjoyed watching this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also check out my description box where I will leave a link to the first ever Mancera review that I filmed uh, a few years ago and uh, don't forget to comment below and uh, I would love to know which other perfume brand you want me to review so let me know that too and uh, with that being said thank you so much for tuning in today i really appreciate it and uh, stay tuned smell good guys and we'll see each other next one really soon bye